Hey, welcome to another video everybody. My name is Jared. This is Cali Cruising. We do everything outdoors and today I'm going to be installing my rooftop tent onto my truck using the um, Go Fast Camper quick release system with the locks. So here's my tent just leaning against the wall here. Nice rooftop tent. Pretty lightweight, easy to put up. Has this cool track here. Usually you just mount it using the hardware they gave you, but you're not able to lock it that way. So with the quick release, you have a little lock that you can um, lock the handle in place and no one can steal your tent. So that's kind of the whole idea. I was waiting a while for this, so now I'm gonna put it together. So here's everything that we need for the install. You have the quick release, you have the lock, you have bolts that I have to cut down. And then you have these anchor plates. These are just like these threaded plates that I got from eBay. I'll link everything below. And then some Loctite. So unfortunately they don't have any bolts at the hardware store that are short enough for this application. I wanted to use nice Allen wrench stainless steel hardware. And so I got the shortest I could. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off, grind it off. I'll show you guys that. And then we'll attach it, put the rooftop tent on, center it all, it should be pretty easy, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're up here at the rack, and go ahead and pull this top strip of rubber off. Yours may or may not have this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that guy all the way off. As you can see, I can get this guy in here no problem. By the time you're ready to tighten it, this bolt is gonna be still too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it as much as I can, and that way I have a general idea of how long it needs to be. All right, so I got my Allen wrench tool. Go ahead and find the right size. Looks like it's 530 seconds. So if I tighten this guy, it already maxes out right there. So this amount plus the gap underneath that nut is what I have to cut this off. So I'm going to go ahead and get a tape measure and look at that. Okay, so what I have here is called a combo square. So the idea is just to loosen your dial, push it down all the way, and we'll get a reading for the underside of this. So let's look at this one here. Hard to see in there. So it's quarter inch to the center of that. So it's about 3 16 space underneath. And then this has another 16. So we need to we need to cut a quarter inch off of these bolts right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy off of here. I'm gonna measure what this entire bolt is, which according to this. These bolts I have are about 5 eighths, so I need to cut them to about 3 eighths light. These other bolts I have are an inch, one inch long, so I need to cut these to 3 eighths light as well. So I set my square to 3 eighths. I'm gonna put my bolt like this, and I'm just gonna mark it. Rotate it. Okay. Hey. That right there, that will be my bolt, that tiny little thing. Okay, I'll repeat the process. Okay, so I got some vice grip pliers here. I tighten them real nice. I put some red duct tape on the ends just to protect the bolt here. So now I'm gonna put it in a vise. Get a nice cinch. So a few things you're going to need before you start are a grinder, so I have an air grinder, you can use electric, anything you got, a pair of safety glasses, and some ear protection. So let's get it. Beautiful.
Okay, so now that we got all the bolts grinded, we're gonna go ahead and take it to this belt sander here. We have to smooth the edges a little or else it isn't gonna really catch into the threads. It's gonna wanna strip out. So this is a super important step you don't wanna miss. Go ahead and fire this guy up. So you just wanna barely hit the edges with it. Okay, so now that I have all of my bolts cut off, cut off here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a dab of blue Loctite removable on both of these. Oop, I gotta cut it. Go ahead and get a tab of blue Loctite now that all these are ready to go. Just put it on a towel just so I don't make a mess everywhere. Okay, then put it, the bolt through the existing hole, pre-drilled hole. Okay, then go ahead and get these guys attached. Make sure you're very careful not to strip them. So they are cut off bolts. Beautiful. And you're just getting it barely on. Same thing on this side. Put your finger on the bolt. I like to just keep that A up just for consistency. Beautiful. Okay, now I'll repeat the process. Okay, so you want to start on the left side. You got it where it says L right there. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure my nuts are rotated in the right direction. I'm going to remove this end cap here because it's in my way. Beautiful. Now that I got the end cap on, I'm actually going to slide the right hand one first just to make it easier for myself. So I'm going to remove two end caps. Rotate it in there. Slide it all the way over. Grab the left one. Put it in place. So the super light is 34 and 5 8 on center. So I'm at 37. So I'm going to go ahead and move that in this one in a little. So I'm just gonna snug it just a little bit. See how my math worked out. It looks like it worked out really good. Perfect. If you guys can see inside that channel or not. So the bolts are just about eighth inch off of this level right here, so it's absolutely perfect. So I'm not gonna snug it all the way, I just wanted to check it. So I'm gonna loosen this again so that I can move it with the tent as needed. I'm just gonna get this one a little bit tighter, just so it's not like moving around like crazy. Okay. Okay, nice. All right guys, now that we got our rear two Quick releases soft set. I'm gonna go ahead and soft set the ones on the front, repeat the process. So I'm gonna start by taking this end cap on, slide the right, slide the left, softly set it at 34 and 5 eighths. Then I'm gonna put the rooftop tent on, cinch it down, and make sure that I'm nice and centered, take it off, clamp it, uh, I'll tighten it all the way, and should be good to go. Okay guys, so I got all of the mounts um, attached to the, tr the truck. Everything worked out pretty good. The bolts, perfect length, everything like that. So it's actually 34 and 7 eighths center to center, not 34, 5 eighths. My apologies for that. I'll make the correction, of course, earlier. I'm sure you saw that. And um, so now it's just a matter of getting this guy onto the truck. Um, normally I do it myself, but because of the mounts, it makes it a little weird. I don't want to either damage the mount, damage the track, or damage the fabric underneath. So um, my family is actually out right now. So I'll just have to wait for them to get back and I'll put that thing on and I'll show you the lock. So stay tuned.
All right, so we got the tent on to the quick release mounts, and now I'm gonna show you how it cinches down so it's super easy. So I left this one and that one just a little loose so that we could wiggle it around because the tent, um, these tent tracks were not parallel with each other. So basically, once you're ready to go, you just go ahead and you grab that, go rotate it until it clicks. Repeat the process. Boom. Boom. And boom. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how these locks work. So this is super easy. You wanna make sure that this button is still pushed out like that. All you have to do is put this in here, rotate it, kind of finagle your guy to get in there. You might have to push it uh, up, back a little bit, kind of mess with it until you find that happy medium. Kind of a tight fit, and just like that. Click it, and you're locked. Repeat the process right here, see if it's a little bit easier or not. This one you actually have to rotate the other way. Yeah. yeah, this one's a little bit easier. Okay, nice. That lost. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna look for just a little uh, right-handed Allen wrench of the proper size so that I can cinch this down, and then I'm gonna jump on the next thing.